this rune is actually broken. It's becoming less of a secret now with a couple people starting to show it off, but it still isn't taken enough. Ingenious Hunter at no stacks grants 20 item haste, which translates to 16.7% cooldown reduction on items. At 5 stacks, it grants 50 total item haste, which translates to 33% cooldown reduction on items. Paired with Cosmic Insight, you can have up to 60 total item haste, or 33.5% item cooldown reduction, but this requires you to have both the Domination Tree and the Inspiration Tree for your rune pages, which might be too much of a commitment in a lot of cases. This amount of cooldown reduction may not seem like a lot, but for some of these new items, it can actually have a massive impact on your gameplay. So I'm going to make this easy and show exactly which spots this room can be abused. To start, I made this tier list ranking items based on how much they benefit from the decreased cooldowns. If an item is not on this list, it does not get affected by item haste. Well, my original plan was to go through this list, there's a lot of obvious and redundant stuff that I feel would just be a waste of time to include, so... I did troll myself by recording and prepping pretty much everything, but I'm just going to be skipping around and getting to the more interesting points uh, for the next few minutes. Next is Spellblade items, which fall into a similar situation. The cooldown goes from 1.5 seconds down to 1 second, which sounds like a lot, but it really doesn't do that much because of how the effect works. When you use an ability, you get a stack of Spellblade, which is then used on your next auto. The cooldown starts after you auto, meaning you have to wait a full second before you cast a spell that would create a stack. The auto itself takes time, but not more than a second, so you're going to have to wait anyway. It just takes too much time to be consistent when weaving autos in between abilities, and in cases where you would be willing to wait the 1 second, you'd probably also have been willing to wait 1.5 seconds. Heart steals a fun item in general, and it goes from 30 seconds down to 20 seconds, which seems really good in theory. However, in practice, the window you're playing around isn't the cooldown of the item, but rather when you are best able to interact with the enemy, which might not always be in your control. If you have a good lane, this is a rich gets richer situation, but uh, in places where you don't have control, you just aren't going to benefit from item haste. Anyway, the remaining two items of the tier, Zeke's and Hexplit, are just strange because they're tied to your champion's ultimate. There just aren't that many champions with an ult cooldown short enough to benefit from this, and even if they do, they probably also aren't going to be building these items. There could be some hidden tech with Axiomark and Hexplit on some champions. They're it could also be some split push attack with maybe a hole breaker hex plate on someone like Nidalee or Corky or LeBlanc. It's hard to say. So I wanted to test this build specifically on Nidalee, and then I found that hex plate just wasn't working. So I wanted to see if maybe they disabled it with the rune, or if maybe uh, the champion, because they don't want it to work on Chafe Jesters. Uh, I am currently in a setup that has neither of those, and... Uh, x it's still not working. GA is a weird one because the effect is not very easy to play around, but the cooldown can go down to 3 minutes and 20 seconds, which is kind of crazy considering it's base cooldown of 5 minutes. Banshees and Edge of Night give you a lower window of vulnerability to getting picked, and it's definitely noticeable. Banshees in particular is quite interesting because rather than to complete the full item, you can just sit on Verdant Veil, vale, and that, that cooldown goes from 60 seconds down to 40 seconds, which is almost the same as having a full Banshees. As for the other TMI items, these can go down to 6.7 seconds, which can definitely lead to an extra usage or two in fights. You will also get noticeably faster wave clear and jungle clear if you get some stacks early. Finally, we, we have tier, which can just simply be stacked faster, and having a faster upgraded item is good. Up in A tier, we have items that become way stronger with item haste, starting with Ludens. This item gains its charges faster, meaning if you were to proc it while not at full stacks, you're just going to be doing more damage for free, because you'll have more stacks. There's just no thought needed for this. Next is Storm Surge, which can go down to 20 seconds at max stacks, and 25 seconds without. This item benefits a lot, because it's a pick and snowball item. Opportunity gets the same benefit, whereas if you can play much more aggressively having item haste. The out of combat window goes down to... 6.7 seconds unstacked and 5.3 seconds stacked, which is way easier to play around than 8 seconds. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Sonius is simply the best active item in the game. Having it down to 100 seconds without any stacks and then 80 seconds at max stacks is actually incredible because people will track this cooldown, then they'll get messed up by Ingenious Hunter because you'll have it sooner than people will account for. This item is very nice in general, but on champions, now we start getting into oppressive territory, which I'll call the A plus tier, starting with Fimble Winter. Sante, Tank Gragas can all become much tankier with their ability to proc this item at a reduced cooldown. At no stacks, it's 6.7 seconds cooldown, and at max stacks, it's 5.3 seconds. 
this can lead to a massive shield on a like five second cooldown. For a more common item, Dreammaker is a lot easier to think about because it isn't competing with anything on the champions that build it, they'll just have it anyway. But with item haste, its cooldown better aligns with the cooldowns of the champions that will have it. Whereas in a lot of cases, eight seconds is just more than the cooldown of the shield, so you're gonna have shields that don't proc it. Next we have the disgusting duo of Sundered Sky and Eclipse, while sharing a base cooldown of six seconds, which is already kind of crazy. These items are balanced around the idea that trades aren't going to be lasting long enough for you to get this twice. Six seconds is kind of a lot. But with Ingenious Hunter, the cooldown now starts at five seconds. Now things are getting interesting because you can now start actively thinking about getting a second proc. With stacks, this gets even more crazy because this cooldown can go down to four seconds, meaning you can almost certainly get a second proc in trades. Consistently getting additional procs of these items can very easily swing a lane in your favor. And not to mention the fact that you can also build these items together. A lot of champions already do that. Honestly, it's insane that this isn't already being abused. To finish this tier and to mark the penultimate placements of my list, I'll have the trinket items, which, by the way, are built on every champion. Like, honestly, how is this not being abused in pro play? Especially in Korea and China, where they love vision control so much that supports are willing to spend their entire nation's GDP on control words. These cooldowns are dynamic and hard to keep track of, like numerically, but let's just say it's a 16.7 to 33.3% increase in vision or vision denial. And again, literally every champion in the game would benefit from this one. So what's left? This last item is very interesting because having enough item haste actually grants new functionality to the item and can completely change. This new Season 14 item on its own already has a lot of interesting interactions, considering it can proc spell effects and stack conqueror for some reason. But with a 7 second base cooldown, things can get pretty interesting because with 4 stacks of Ingenious Hunter, this item can go below a 5 second cooldown. Why does this matter? Because after interacting with enemy champions, the time needed to leave combat is 5 seconds. Because this item deals damage to enemy champions, this item can keep you in combat and chain proc itself. Not only that, this damage does not trigger minion aggro, meaning you can completely abuse enemy champions just by being in range of the item. As long as you're in the item's range at the time of its proc, you will keep reprocking. As a result, you can get some really oppressive gameplay just by standing in range of enemy champions. You will heal and damage them for free without any consequences. You can also get this effect by building Leandries and not need item at all, as that'll also keep you in combat long enough to get the chain procking. And while there are champions like Singed, Udyr, Maokai that can't afford to build Leandries, not all champions do. And with Ingenious Hunter, you're just getting more value out of it because it's still talking more often, so you're healing and damaging more often anyway. Hopefully that's enough to show you all just how strong this rune really is. But I did say I would make this really easy for you, so let me just show you just how easy it is to slot this into ordinary gameplay. You can obviously build to intentionally play around this rune that you now have, but I'll show you that in a lot of cases you don't even have to do that by looking at champions that already spec into combinations of these items anyway. Ready? Aatrox, Ash, Briar, Draven, Jace, Kane. Skazix, Misfortune, Talon, Shaco, Varus, Camille, Support, Darius, Jax, Kled, Leeson, Olaf, Pantheon, Rek'Sai, Riven, Klon, Bolivar, Yaks, Yonkal, Diane, Elf, Rek, Lawai, Sinjar, Janna, Zoe, Zillion. Maybe it's better to say he probably won't be abusing this run. AD Carry. And that's it. I hope that's enough to get more people to consider taking this run. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Take care, everyone.